up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are in Arizona to check out the Aston Martin GT4 race car. This thing is absolutely insane, so we're gonna go check it out, see what it's like, and uh, later on in the day, hop on it and take it out on the track. Going over the front end, it has carbon dive plans, which you don't see on the stock car, as well as a super, super big carbon splitter. Everything around here is carbon fiber, so all of this right here, as long as the splitter and the dive planes. Something that's really interesting is that with the vents on the hood, they do have this lip. This lip is designed to make a difference in pressure so that the air is pulled out, the hot air is pulled out of the vents a lot easier. And then has intakes along through here for better airflow. You have the vent to get air, air pressure out of the wheel well, will be sucked out. The car is running Michelin slicks. Then moving along, you can see carbon through there as well as over here where the fuel filler cap is, if you can call that a filler cap. And then coming around the back, body panels are the same width as stock, but you have the nice meaty diffuser as well as the super, super big carbon fiber spoiler. Fun fact, this lip right here is designed to give more downforce at lower speed so that you have more downforce up the top at lower speed and then it uses the bottom of the wing right there to have downforce at higher speed. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Over here, that is where you have your air jack. So they would plug in that little hose right there into there and the whole car would jack up from the bottom. Really cool feature about this car is that this is a glass. It does not go down. It's just all one piece. And the door is super light. For example, you have all your buttons, so like a radio, and um, the rest of your controls. Looking at your dashboard here, you have your speedometer, your water temp, what looks to be your tire pressure, and your lap times with your gear indicator right in the middle. There is another screen right here that would be for your backup rear view camera. Coming down here, as you can see, everything in this car is carbon fiber. You have your air vents right here, and then your ABS controls, your mirror controls, and then all of your other controls such as your master kill switch, your start button, your fire button, so that would shoot the fire extinguisher in it, and your lights and whatnot. This car is absolutely wild. It has the crazy bucket seats, as well as another one on that side, but we are gonna be taking this car out for a little joyride. I'm not gonna be driving, but Gray, the owner of this car is gonna take me for a spin. And with that, I'll see you guys on the track. All right guys, we just got strapped up in the GT4 car. Gray, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. It's about to be awesome. <laughs>
Oh my god. Was it worth beating me in rock, paper, scissors? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, dude, okay. You know how heavy these cameras are, right? Like four pounds? Maybe I felt like 20, this. 25 pounds. <laughs> I could barely keep the camera up. Interesting. All right, guys, we just got out of the GT4 car, and that was absolutely ridiculous. I have never been in a car that pulled so many Gs, both laterally and under braking. Like, I could, my camera was about four pounds, five pounds, and it felt like 30. By the end of lap three, I could barely hold my camera. It was absolutely insane. Braking just threw you in the dashboard. It was stronger than any car I've ever been in in my life. That is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.